Well, hello there and good day. Thanks for joining me. I am Frost PDP. And this is going to be a quick video because we are playing Breaking in Grand Edition Cross Mod Version 6.1 by Arvolos, episode 26 of our Mecha campaign. I forgot to roll tape at the start. <laughs> so we're already kind of in battle. As you can see, the enemy has put Balian on the front line. So this is going to be a short one unless I really choose not to target the obvious targets. Ooh, my Royal Griffin gets some damage in. Thank you. Ooh, you yeah, missed again. They got him to safety, huh? Hmm. Double ice breath. Or do I death breath? Hit five. I think I ice breath for the elemental advantages. Alright. Have to do one eighteen. Did one fourteen. You know, I'll give them points. They're using healers. Did chip damage into chip damage position. Using healers to heal a unit, although those are also kind of melee units, so it's kind of a waste, but not really. I can heal stuff. That's just murder shit. Get paralyzed? Nope. Good job, Falcon. Healing, healing. How much XP do you need for 19? 581. You do need to get some damage in, don't you? 73. Retails for 70. That's fine. Relatively painless.
Bye. Bye. Soften target up. Spirit throw, 201. Screw it up. Sorry, Kilof. All right, so retreat, retreat. Uh, derpy charge. Crit three sixteen. Oof, it's pointing. It's gonna hurt. Good job culling. 222, can he do it? No, he cannot. If I had a crit, maybe. <sighs> All right, well, keel off, time to run. Healers. Healing the melee unit so we can melee one more time so we can retreat. This was a short battle. Free experience, retreat. Okay, good job. We won. Pringer, to level 28. Definitely going into the final fight. Scallion invades Hadrian with Iria, but loses to the Queen. Ooh. That's brutal. Batarchus quests. Free drink. He's poisoned. Gruesome quests. Rabbit. He's poisoned. Perfect. Two wounded knights. Just what I needed. Alright. Mech coronation ceremony. Uh, you've probably seen all of the... text before. I've done previous campaigns since on Mechia. Veracity, Trigger, and Falco Lunari, I think both have all the cutscenes posted on their channels. Check them out. Links are in the description below. Uh, let's make a start of this war. Do we have peace? No. Time to go imperialists. Yes. War must end. If you really want to read it, you can pause each text block and read. Basically, Lance is just like, yeah, I'm the king. Hmm. <laughs> I love how there's like a scan line in this shit. I guess that's the HD. Choose on hope and joy, running through for sin, continuing for many days. Lance has become a king. He is now a beast. No. He is now a carnivore. He is now a justice warrior. You know what I almost said. A 
Okay, so first things first. Monster classes. Fairy Queen. Archdemon. Cut up this dragon. Now, Earl Volus has made a fairly persuasive argument that when you upgrade centaurs to level to tier two, uh, the 35 rune cost increase is due to how useful being able to equip items is. I think it's a fair point. I don't know if it's fully justified, but it's there. It's, it's a good explanation. Uh, fire dragon or holy dragon? I have fire dragons. I think I'll go holy dragon. Have a dearth of blue mana. That's a fact. Nope, doesn't fit. You suck. Okay, what can I summon here? I kinda wish Nightmares kept heal. I would get one if it did. So what you're telling me is, I'm just curious, uh, summon, scroll all the way down, no doppelgangers. I got shafted due to bad edge alignment, basically. It's my fault. But now I have two fairy queens, so I have double react. And now I can start using Lance. Whereas before I can... Oh, he gets hit and run! That's huge! I don't know if he already had that, but he's got it now. And healing word. AoE heals. So Lance can AoE heals in the final battle. Like one time, granted. But he can hit and run, so I can have one, two, three hit and runners. So I can leave one hex square on the snake. One hex square? One hex unoccupied on the snake. And have one, two, three units jump in, chop, and jump out. Plus at least three big hitters. Plus wherever I'm going to put the, the big bad. Trishula! I have a lot of rune cap spare. I know that. I can fit two unicorns. Just need to find a place to summon them. Trish is not playing though. Fluffy is with Yura. Fafner.
The succubi are real, man. The Liliths are real. So what you're saying is Kai lost, but he didn't lose big enough. Shast, you screwed up, buddy. Is that Roomba? Fotar. Alright, well, next attack phase is going to be four battles. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like, share, subscribe, and follow whatever buttons. It really does help the channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can keep making more of it. I really do appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. I'm on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, all those good things. Links are in the description down below. Uh, there's a Bringing Dean community. There's a Discord, an engine, a subreddit, and a wiki. Links are all in the description below. Uh, I mentioned other streamers. You can check them out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, right now, it looks like Friday nights we're doing Brigandine Dean at... I want to say... 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I'm not 100% sure at the time. Uh, Friday nights on Veracity Trigger's channel. With Metallic Mike and Raging Paul and myself. It's uh, me and Trigger versus Paul and Mike, I guess. Is what we're doing. I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. And as always on this channel... Pieces.